Hi, my name is Nanda. I am a technical marketing engineer working for Cisco Security Business Unit. In this video, I am going to talk about Firepower 2100 series platform. It's a mid-range firewall for internet edge and branch office segment. This Firepower firewall is purpose-built hardware for Cisco's next-gen firewall which is firepower threat defense. We call it as FTD. This platform has four models. We have firepower 2110, firepower 2120, 2130, and 2140. All these four platforms are one rack unit which only consumes one rack unit on your rack space. This Firepower 21 10 and 20 has 12 ports, 1 gig fixed Ethernet interface. Additionally, we have 4 port SFP interface, which is of 1 gig speed. On 2130 and 40, we have a 12 1 gig fixed Ethernet interface, plus we have 4 port SFP plus interface, which is of 10 gig interface speed, and we have one network module which can take 8 SFP interface, which is supports 10 gig interface. On this all four models, we have two SSD slot. So by default, the one SSD uh, comes with uh, with uh, SSD hard drive, which primarily runs Firepower Threat Defense software. The second SSD slot is optional. It can take an 800 GB of hard drive which is primarily used for MSP, which is malware storage pack. If you have AMP license enabled and the second SSD slot with 800 GB hard drive, if this firewall sees any mal malicious file or unknown file, it can be stored on this extended hard drive for future investigation. This Firepower 2100 series platform with FTD can be managed with three different management apps software. First is FMC, which is Firepower Management Center. Second, we have Firepower Device Manager, which is FDM. And third, we have CDO, Cisco Defense Orchestrator. When you have multiple device on your network, it could be your Firepower 2100 or 4100 or 9300 or your ASA with ASA iPhone X series with uh, FTD running. If you want central, you want to manage all this device centrally, you can use Firepower Management Center. Apart from man managing all the configuration, it can also receive logs from all the devices and correlate with this events. If you have only one device in your network, and you don't want FMC to manage this box, you could use Firepower Device Manager, which is an on-box manager, which you'd, all you need is a standard browser on your PC to access this Firepower Threat Defense and then configure the next-gen firewall policy and then deploy to the FTD. When you have multiple firewalls deployed across ge geographical locations and you want a centralized policy management through cloud, then Cisco Defense Orchestrator will be a preferred choice. This has uh, inbuilt standard tem security templates, which you can use it to deploy um, security policy across all the platforms consistently. The next session, we are going to look at hardware architecture of this Firepower 
2100 series platform. So now let's look at into hardware architecture of this Firepower 2100 series platform. This platform has dual processor. We have two processors here. One is NPU, which is network processing unit, and the other one is x86. Apart from all other competitive products, this platform we have dual processor, which each has its own dedicated functionality. On the NPU, we have basic firewall functions basic firewall such as phi tuple, policy based on five tuple, NAT, quality of service, stateful inspection, routing, and high availability. All this function runs on this network processing unit. On the other hand, on x86, we have advanced inspections such as AVC, user identity, AMP, IPS, security intelligency, file inspection, URL, all advanced service runs on this x86. The advantage is as you all know, in the firepower threat defense, we have two policies. The first is pre-filter policy. And second, we have access control policy. In pre-filter policy, we have primarily three different actions. One is block, fast path, and analyze. When you have a traffic that you want to allow or deny based on phi tuple, you could use pre-filter policy with action block or fast path. Basically, if a traf uh, you create a uh, pre-filter policy with the action block, when there is a traffic which reaches the NPU, and if this packet matches any one of the pre-filter policy with the action block, the packet is dropped at NPU level. And if you have a, pa a uh, policy with the action fast path, if the traffic matches th that particular policy, the packet is, is, is routed back to the uh, egress interface and uh, based on the routing table and uh, at the same time creates a connection in uh, stateful connection in uh, connection table the prime use case of uh, this pre filter policy is if you have a trusted traffic and you know what is happening that is the traffic between a data center to data center where backup happens you know trust the traffic you could simply use pre filter policy with the action fast path which bypass the traffic on the advanced inspection which happens at NPU level. And if there is any traffic that you want to completely block based on the phi tuple, you could use pre-filter policy with action block. That happens at NPU level. But for most of the traffic which you need advanced inspection such as AVC, URL filtering or AMP, IPS, you could create an access control policy. If there is a traffic that matches the NPU, and NPU checks the policy against pre-filter, if it either does not match any of the pre-filter policy or matches with the action analyze, those traffics are sent to the x86. Once the, uh, the x86 takes a packet and checks against the access control policy, based on the rule and the, act, uh, and the policies with the action, the x86 sends a verdict back to the NPU. Based on the verdict, the NPU allows the packet or drops the packet. In case if it says to allow the packet, the NPU creates a connection table and then routes the packet to the exit, in, uh, exit interface based on the routing table. By this way, we were able to optimize the performance um, on this platform. This is a key differentiator between the Firepower 2100 series platform and our competitor on this segment. With this, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Nanda. 
see you soon in the next video thank you